Brenda says her 27-year-old son, Chris, is in a very dangerous relationship with a girl who she calls a street rat. Ever since her son met Tabitha, she says his life has gone downhill. Have you stolen from your family? In the past, yes, I have, and, it, and I regret everything. And I will admit, I've had problems with what have why you stolen I stole. from your family? I mean, I stole jewelry, I stole um, stuff out of the garage, like tools, um, Cameras, instruments, laptops, videos. That was all mine. Brenda says Chris has stolen a lot from the family. Brenda's ring, which is a gift from. Uh, her husband Phil, Brenda's grandmother's wedding ring, diamond earring, Zach's saxophone, three times, his brother Zach, three times, garage freezer, Phil's credit card, gold necklaces, bracelets, video games, Xbox, lacrosse stick, suitcase with grandmother's antiques, grandfather's watch, three or $400 emergency cash, power tools, power saw, $3,000 cash, from brother. Yeah. If you're stealing this stuff from the family, aren't you the one that cut off the family? Because let me tell you, you start stealing that kind of stuff from me, you're burning the bridge, not me. And it's I, burning from your end, not mine. And I absolutely agree with that. And I, and and why are you saying immaturity. she's the one that cuts you it, off? When I was calling across the state... Will you let him answer my oh. question, or do you want me to just step out and you do this? Because I think you guys can argue at home. <laughs> I'm asking you a question. Yeah. Answer the question. You can bicker no, with her I, later. No, I, um, I Don't would, you own I the say separate, I do own that, that the this responsibility. Is no, no, I do own the responsibility of my past actions. Then why do you doubt. say she's the one that cut you off from everything? Because she is continually, even though, we, I mean, I really am trying. I really realize that those, I made some really bad when mistakes. When you choose the was, behavior, you choose the consequences. Absolutely. When you victimize your family and friends, you choose the consequences of severing those relationships. And, Yes, you don't blame her absolutely. for that. Absolutely, and I agree with that. But I'm not going to say I was 100% in the right mindset. I'm not going to say that, you know, I, I wasn't. I wasn't I wasn't thinking straight. I wasn't, I was immature. But you don't was, rob people and then say, oh, you don't I, want me around I anymore? I never wanted no, to, and no. I never thought of it as robbing. And this is where it kind of gets a little weird because I always planned on paying everything back. I planned on going and getting, you know, a better job. And it's 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 delusional thinking. I understand that now. But, like, that's why I'm saying, like, I, I, I really regret everything I did. And every... And it has landed me in the woods. It has landed me a horrible relationship with my family. And it is my fault. I agree with that. But as However, long as you're I sorry. Am, no, and if you, no, and I, if you plan to pay I it back, that's day. called a loan. Okay, yes. That's where you go to someone and say, may I borrow $3,000? Yes, and, $3, it and it was, You didn't do that. No. You stole it. Absolutely, and it was wrong. And I, you know, and I figured because it was my family, it wouldn't matter. I figured I can always pay it back. I figured well, it was mine then anyway. Here's, I told her one thing. Wrong. Her first piece of advice is pick your battles. Your first piece of advice is stop being a punk-ass thief and blaming other people for the consequences. I agree with that. I'm not, I, I haven't stolen anything since then. Not one thing. Okay. Well, except for dining and dashing, which I'll admit. But that was different. <laughs> but... Listen, I, I'm not. I, I'm. I am very sorry for the things I've done. I'm not going to say that uh, you know, I deserve leniency or anything like that because it's it was ex it is extremely wrong. I'm just saying that I've been through. I mean, we've been through a lot, and I mean, every day you know we try and we just put one foot forward, and the only thing I can do is the best that I can for every day, and we. You know, we're the going best to you can is not going into a restaurant, running up a $200 bar tab yeah. plus food, and then running out the door. Yeah, I know that. But, you know, at the same time, uh, but we what? just... What's the but? The but is that we are, we are homeless. We have no, like, I, I mean, no future, no nothing. And we do have a, an alcohol issue, and, like, we're working on these things. And I'm not saying I'm perfect, because I'm not. I'm far from it. And I'm just saying that... I'm doing the best I can now. And I and through our relationship with Tabitha, through my relationship with her, she's actually made me grow up. She made me see Was she how, with you when you ripped off this restaurant? She she was, okay. but it wasn't really her it wasn't really her choosing and knowing. It was it definitely she was just more following me. So yeah, you were her my, guiding light in that. In that situation, <laughs> uh, not a light, 